Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Thursday. It's the 1st of August, 2024. I'm going to look at the featured ninth race from the spa, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And also join me today for my glorious Goodwood preview. Today's feature of the Nassau looks like it's going to be an excellent race, so I hope you join me for that. And just in general, join me this week because this is one of the premier race weeks of the summer from Saratoga and in North America, I think. With the um, with the Whitney this weekend, also you have the Hambo this weekend. Some good racing at uh, Ellis, so just join me for this, these good races. But let's look at the ninth race from Saratoga, which is a good one. It's always one of my favorite races of the summer. It used to be the closing day feature for many years, but now it is the early August feature. The ninth race it is the Glens Fall Stakes. It's a Grade Two event going for a two hundred fifty thousand dollar purse race for fillies and mares, four year olds and upwards. Field of seven horses going twenty four hundred meters or a mile and a half on the Saratoga Inner Turf Course. Course. I'm going to take the three horse here, Chop Chop, as a top selection. 3571 for me in the Super Facta. 3571 Super. Top selection of three horse, Chop Chop. This four year old filled by City of Light. Brad Cox trains. Frank Gittatori is on this one. Chop Chop years ago here on the New York circuit was uh, Jorge Chavez, who was a very underrated rider, I think. Um, when you think back at the late 90s and early 2000s uh, of riders in the New York circuit and one of the premier riders, he doesn't, his name doesn't get um, mentioned a lot, but, you know, one of the best riders. Uh, but um, this horse's most recent outing came 7th of July at Delaware. Mile 3 eights in the Robert Dick Memorial. We had a decent place behind Warlike Goddess. Warlike Goddess just had the jump on this one. But this horse, from a stalking trip all the way around, ran her heart out. Getting the extra furlong here today, being furly paced on this turf course, which isn't half bad. I think she could find a trip to win. She was forwardly paced, but she was, um, there was a horse saying massive fractions in the Cortana Stakes, two back at Churchill, mile and a half, 25th of May, and this horse finished second by half length that day. She stalked it, a couple of horses on the front end just went up by a bunch. She had the lead. She, uh, Atomic Blonde just caught this horse late, who gamed it to the wire, closing up from nowhere that day. Atomic Blonde closed up from third lengths, but this horse, she ran her hard out sitting close to that pace. Not a bad race. I would like the horse to slow it down on the front end if she can. She can win. And then two back in the grade two Bewitch at a mile and a half at Keeneland, 26th of April. Her first start over the long trip was a success. Winning by two and a quarter lengths. She stalked all the way around the race course. She beat Atomic Blonde home. That was a very good run for her that day. Prior to that, she, she was actually wintering at... Um, at uh, Turfway, mile 16th in the Latonia Stakes, where she had a decent second place finish, closing up well that day. Not a, not a bad race at all. Since coming to the longer distances, she's been forwardly paced, which I think should be do good in this race. Getting Frankie up for the first time shouldn't be a problem. I think she's loaded. I think the five horse Eternal Hole for Godolphin, Charlie Oppi, and Flavian Prack win also. This horse uh, has been pretty perfect uh, stateside. Most recently in the Sands Point and Aqueduct, mile eighth yielding ground in October. She won by a half a length, closing up from nowhere. I thought it was a very good effort. Probably Prior to that, in the Jack Club Oaks at Aqueduct over the mile three eights in um, in September, she won by a neck again, closing up from nowhere with this horse going out by a, a bunch, Nisa Marie. But this horse, you know, caught her late, 82 by her. Decent race. Uh, you know, refreshing here now, back to a mile and a half off the bench, training well. The Appleby horse have been re really firing here stateside, and Appleby and um, and Flavia Pratt are at 75% with eight offerings this uh, the last two seasons. So I think that's something you want to keep an eye on with the jockey booking. But refreshing here, I think this horse could win. We'll use her in the late pick four. But to recap my selection for the ninth now from Saratoga, it is the great two Glens Falls. Going to take the three horse Chop Chop. Give kudos to the five horse Eternal Hope. 3571 Super, 35 in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5. Good luck, everybody.